Hello YouTubers. Today I will be showing you how to make a paper ring. So first thing you need to do Ah yes. I bet you have spotted my money ring. Well, my next video will be how to make a money ring. They work with one dollars, five dollars, the tens, uh, twenties, and fifties, and hundreds, and all that. Those would be a lot uh, harder, like not harder to make, but like, see the one, it fits on there like perfectly. Well, on like hundreds and tens and twenties and fifties, it's like bigger, like. I think you 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 could probably have them. It's just the square will be bigger. It's like really simple to make. Uh, just slides on your hand. Okay, so back to this. All you will need is a piece of printer paper. I like the printer paper best because it you can draw on the little square. A ruler, a pen, scissors, and tape. Maybe it depends on how this turns out. <coughs> so what you want to do? Take your ruler and take the centimeter side and go make a line that is 15 and a half. Has 15 and a half, once again, inch or centimeters long. So just mark the 15. Okay. Oh, dang it, I just messed it up. Sorry. Trying to get it good so I don't mess it up. Let me just do that. I'll just move the paper. Okay, now you take this and make a line that's six centimeters in width. So let me just make that line. Oopsies. Sorry. Let me just make another line. And this is what your square should look like. Just that much of the paper. And you want to take your scissors and cut the line. You can make more than one ring off of one piece of paper. I believe you can, if you, uh, like, make them right, you can make about four or five. Like, one, and then two, three, four, five, maybe six. Yeah, maybe six and maybe seven. I don't know. But I know that you can make five. So then what you want to do is you want to take the top half of the piece of paper that you just made and fold it down to the bottom line.
And as you can see, the flap is towards me. And then you want to make another, like, a, to take the top and fold it down to the bottom once again. And then take, so now you should have that. Just crease it all real nice. And then once you have that, make, just like take the right end of your paper, make sure the flap is towards you, take the right end and flip it like this, like, so it's like this, then you just crease it. This is your box, pretty much. Just what you want to draw on it. And then you pinch those two things together. 